Welcome back to another vlog. I'm Brittany if you're new and if you're a returning subscriber. Good morning, what's up? So glad that you are back. Y'all see he had to come in here as soon as I turned his camera on. What? I'm just trying to get a ball. Okay. No, we're not playing with balls in the house. You can go outside. Jump rope? Yeah, you, no, 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 no. Just don't do none of that right now because I gotta give you a breathing treatment. Go sit down. Go sit down, please. Thank you. It is Thursday. We didn't get a whole lot of that storm. The kids were out of school today. I don't know why, but it's windy, the sun is shining. They should have been at the schoolhouse. They're home with me. Took Kimmerick to school early this morning. We got out, we went outside. Y'all, they feel so amazing. Like the fall is really here. Colored some fall pictures just to do something different with the kids. And I'll start doing like a lot of little small things with them that are around the fall theme each and every week so i am sitting here i was in my office just writing down um a lot of things and dates that i forgot about and then the next the rest of the month i think i have something to do on the weekends so that's that my big guy kenrick and y'all he fractured his collarbone when we went to that game Friday, me and Kim were so heartbroken, but he is fine. Um, he has to sit out for a while and think he played the whole entire game. And we were just thinking like, oh, sore. He was holding it through the whole game. He still played and he was shedding tears when he came off of the field. So uh, we didn't leave the game until maybe like 830 or so. And then Ken took him straight to the emergency room because I had to take the kids to school the next day. So they said it was fractured. It'll take maybe like four weeks or so to heal. It's not too bad. They had him out for two days and then he uh, went back. Their school was open today. All the Catholic schools were open, but not all of the public schools are closed. He was supposed to go back yesterday, but his school um, ended up closing yesterday. And Kendi's school was open, so I just let all of them stay home yesterday, and then he went back today, and Ken took him to the orthopedic um, this morning, so his update is fine. We just have to keep doing whatever they told us to do. Welcome back to another realistic week in my life. I'm just going to take y'all with whatever goes on. Y'all know me and my family, we do the most, so who knows what we'll do, but let's jump into the video. Try not to think about it and take every day a step at a time. But this is it's just part of my life. Always having to do things that I just have to do. I don't know what we're gonna do. Um, we always do some special for. Oh yeah, I have it. We always do something special for the community all throughout the year, but I need to start figuring out what we're gonna do for um, the winter months. Because we always make sure that anything that the community needs as far as things to stay warm, hygiene products and stuff like that, So we reach out to people that we know. And it's always good to know people that, you know, have resources as well. So I need to get on that ASAP. It's five o'clock. It is much later. Let me show y'all what I got from the Dollar Tree. The kids are doing a lot and I love going to the Dollar Tree 
um to buy like the little activity sets one second to buy the little activity sets that they have to keep the kids busy they didn't have a whole lot um we normally get like the little painting sets and i do a lot of crafts with them and stuff but sometimes i don't feel like it or i don't have time so i'm gonna show y'all what i picked up but i am gonna just add like um a few fall things and I don't really do a whole lot of fall stuff, but I got this sign, super cute. Everything, of course, was $125 from the Dollar Tree. I love this gather sign. I buy these a lot, but I'm going to cut this off. Also got these cute pumpkins. It says that they are candle holders. So these are super cute, and this would just set the mood, give it like a cozy vibe, which is what I like. And then I also picked up this one. And look at the cute flat one. I love this. Also got a little plush pumpkin and these are really popular. They were popular last year too. Now these are the little kits that I purchased for the kids. Um, I get these and they are just so good to keep them busy. They are always interested in what they're doing and I love for them to do things because they're interested in them and not just because I want them to just like calm down. But Kenzo kit the turkey one and then Ken Kendi picked the scarecrow. Y'all look at this glass. They have these glasses at TJ Maxx. I'm trying to cover it because the light is on it. Super cute, 125. I can't remember who it was, but they said that they, someone told them this was at the Dollar Tree. And I love this. I was gonna get a set of four. Kendi was like, mom, do not bring any more glasses here. So this is called a high ball glass. And I love that cup. I will be using this. Y'all know, of course, for iced coffees. And I get these cute candle holders every year from the Dollar Tree. And they have this color. The ones I have are in black. Picked up were these Hello Fall kitchen towels. And I always get my microfiber kitchen towels from TJ Maxx. But I like these. And because I want to start putting more fall stuff out this weekend this week i just got these and then if i see anything else at tj maxx or marshall i'll get those then this one that toasted latte they're like the small scented candles and i will use these i will use these and put them in here i'm not gonna i'm not even gonna lie these and i'm gonna type i don't buy candles from the dollar tree these smell so good It's been a long day. I am about to close it out for the night and get in bed, watch some movies and relax, but I just washed my hair. I'm about to cut it and we'll see what the transformation looks like in the morning. into the hair later we're not gonna talk about it right now i'm about to make up my bed i'm slow rolling this morning the house it's 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 a hot mess so i'm gonna clean my house ken is doing the yard because it needed it and i'm gonna get y'all up to speed on this hair a little bit later i have quite a few things i want to do in the rest of this video before i end it i'm trying to balance everything out i don't know when i'm going to put the rest of my stuff up i have a sorry about the lighting but go to a couple's wedding shower this evening i sort of know what i'm aware not too sure um i want to polish my nails i need to do something to my feet because they look terrible and then yeah so it's Saturday, I'm gonna bring y'all along with me. I woke up this morning, cooked the kids a huge breakfast. They are full. It's going on lunchtime and they're still full. Thank you, Jesus. Please and then lunch. I am, I said, you had breakfast and why are you in my video? Go back and clean your room. I already did. Go make sure nothing is under the bed. I already did. You did not. If I come in there and find something. Thank you. I don't know what I've been doing all day, but we are headed to 
the um, couple's wedding shower. Y'all, let's get into this hair. It's giving mature auntie. I like it. And I'm not gonna record here because I barely know the people, but I will see you guys once I get back home. being a good vlogger today I am in the middle of sitting in the kitchen and y'all it's been such a beautiful day like that's all I'm gonna say I'm gonna leave it at that because y'all know I'll talk forever but it's just been such a beautiful day God is good and I'm just so blessed grateful happy and thankful just for everything but um y'all let's get into the hair because I have not been on here it got rained on and yeah but first of all everybody thought this was my real hair it's not my real hair um i'm not that bold to cut my real hair this short no ma'am no sir i was bored um the other night and kim right when he got home he was like mom are you bored i was like yeah i was in the middle of washing my hair for a wedding shower and i was like you know what let me just chop it off and i did i didn't try to cut it this short but i think it's cute i don't know how long i'm going to keep it for but Hey, we have it now, so comment and let me know what you think about it, if I should keep it or go back to my longer hair, which I'll be getting that back sooner than later. It's going on five o'clock. We've been out of church for quite some time. Ken is about to grill. It's been very rainy out, as y'all saw. We had a nice, peaceful morning this morning. We got up before the kids had coffee outside and have just been enjoying and soaking up God's goodness in today. I think I want to put out a few more fall pieces. I'm going to bring my desk in. Y'all, I was so upset. The top of my desk peeled. I don't think I sanded it down very good, but I'm still going to, um, I'm still just going to put it up and see what I need to do as far as tweaking that, but I don't want to wait any longer. So I'm going to put that up. I might put some on top to cover it. We'll see. I need to start putting out some of my fall pieces because it'll be, um, things that I'll be going to in the upcoming weeks. In the next few months and i just want to see what fall pieces i have get them out everything is not like thick and long sleeve but it's just for the color like this right here i've worn this i love this so much and it was just a super cute outfit i'll either pop a picture up but yeah um we also went to the couple's wedding shower oh my gosh so amazing such a vibe um the house that we was at y'all was so beautiful and i forgot to well i did record a little bit and everybody was recording like but i didn't yeah, but everything was just so nice so beautiful um and i didn't feel comfortable recording but i met some new friends i i loved it it was ken's friend they got engaged and um they had like their wedding party we had an amazing time i think i'm gonna make me like an apple crumble because i want to do something since fall is almost here so i just wanted to pop yeah. on say happy sunday kendy don't you hear me talking yeah but can i put my pajamas on I'm no ma'am i'm wet because you ran out oh, y'all ran out in the rain what is wrong with you <laughs> girl get out please, of please i'm not gonna put pajamas on no but anyways we also have to do a um i guess i'm gonna take this party in okay thank you i have to do a grocery pickup order at i think seven because ken did it late we we'll have to pick up the groceries. We did the order online, so we'll have to get that at seven, and then um, what are you about? What are I don't know. So I'm gonna give y'all a little montage. We'll get some stuff. Give together. them a tour. Can you? Are you gonna do a video of um all the new stuff you got? The tour. Mm -hmm. I'll pick y'all so back first, up a little bit later.
to take those shades off because it was so sunny out. Now it is very gloomy, but it is a, it's not Monday. Why did I just say that? Today is Tuesday. I just took the kids to school. So now I am about to go ahead and start on my, um, y'all, it got, it got hot outside. But now I'm about to start on my closet. I'm going to hang up a few pieces for the next few um, weeks. So I know what I have that are fall things. I'm gonna also, I brought my desk in last night. So I'm going to go ahead and put the stuff on my desk. It looks so good in there. And then I think I'm going to clean up really good. I do have a lot of things I need to do today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this because i really need to do it but also i want to just add it in a video and then before the video ends i'll show you guys um what my room and things look like with my mirror up and that's going to be that so i'm going to quickly go ahead start organizing things get everything the way i need it to be and then i'll come back on and show y'all what it looks like once i'm done just pick up my camera um but y'all I was literally in just in my closet straightening things up and just since Sunday me and Kim were just talking through some things and the Holy Spirit was just flowing and um you just know when you know that God is working on the inside and he's doing something and um, I was just sitting here cleaning my closet and I felt different spiritually for the last two days, but I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I was in here cleaning my closet up and y'all, I was listening to something and the Holy Spirit hit me so strong, like so strong. I supposed to have been pull my camera out to start recording this, um, not because I wanted to, but I just want to let anyone know that if you are every every we all have our highs and lows in life like that's just a part of life and everything is not going to always go smoothly um you know everything is, is that's just life but if you are a person that is in a season where you don't feel that you are up right now um because, you know, a lot of times we as humans, we look at the next person and we all do it. But I just want you to know that just because someone might in whatever area that you're struggling with, just because someone might have more, um, they might be able to do more. They might be in a place that you see that they are spiritually happier, whatever it is, just know that God sees you. He sees you. He knows your situation. He knows that you are tired with just your life being the way that it is the season that you're in you feel that it's not going to get better you feel that it's not going to change you wonder and have questions you know will it ever change when will it change i'm just tired and for i just want to make this clear also for those that don't believe in god don't want to hear about god don't want to hear about jesus fast forward this is not for you but i felt truly led to just let whoever know that if you are dealing with just basically battling in your mind and just tired of your life going the way that it's going, just know that number one, someone is going through way worse. Number two, we have to learn and train ourselves that even though we're human and sometimes our flesh is stronger than our spirit, we have to still reflect, self-reflect and self-examine ourselves every day to know we are still living, we're still breathing, we are still surviving. Even though when it's tough, when it's tight, just know that we're still here. 
So we have to learn to focus and to just pay attention to every day, how, how our day is going outside of all the negative, outside of all of the downs, outside of all of the issues that we have, all of the bills that we owe, all of the things we want to accomplish, all of the goals. That is great. And God wants that for us. But at the end of the day, we have to learn to allow and be okay with God planning out our life the way he's already created it to be. We have to learn to just surrender to him, submit to him, and allow him to do whatever it is that he wants to do through our, through us, through our life. And sometimes the tougher it gets, guess what? They'll let you know anytime it's tough, it's greater on the other side. So I just want to encourage someone. I don't even know really what I was supposed to say. I just know I was supposed to say what was on my heart. So I just want to let you know that God sees us all. He loves us so much. Even when we think he's not doing something, he's doing something. Even when we think that our prayers are unanswered, even when we think he doesn't hear us, he hears us. And just know that he is working on our behalf. We just have to stand in there. We have to stand strong. We have to fight the good fight of faith, knowing that God did not create us to struggle. He did not create us to stay in poverty. He did not create us to have a lack mentality. He did not create us to be spiritually dead. He did not create us to be here and just be here. We have a purpose. It's something that he wants us to do. And he knows that we have a purpose. He's assigned us to do certain things. And in order for us to do those things, he wants us to be in the right place. So I just want to let you know, whatever it is today, whenever you see this video, even if you get this far in the video, if there's anything that you are dealing with, give it to God, cry about it and let it go. I'm dealing with the same thing. Give it to him. Let him deal with it. It's his business. It's his job, not ours. All we have to do is have faith in him, trust him and follow him along the journey. Because just like I heard a long time ago, everything has an expiration date. Your season, your life will not always be this way. If you look back and reflect on your life, even a few years ago, we are all growing. It might not be the way we want it to be. We not, might not have the job, have the house, have the car, have the things. We probably can't do all the things that we want to do. But we have to learn that this life is not for us. So we have to get out of the place of being selfish and start focusing on that. We are here for a reason and God wants to use our life. He wants to use us to draw people closer to him. So I don't know if that made sense, but I just had to share it. And I'm going to try to get back to doing what I was doing. And I'll show you guys what everything looks like once I'm done.